now that you said the 3D printing, because I mentioned around the same time that I'm also into the whole 3D printing thing. Howdy, everyone. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing tonight? I'm happy to see you all here, man. I'm also happy to be playing a little bit of Destroy All Humans. It's a game that I remember seeing a lot when I was a kid, and I'm pretty sure that I played a little bit of it even, right? Like, I have some memories of it, but I can't remember 100% if, like, I was the one playing it, or if I was just watching my brother or someone play it. But I've been wanting to play it ever since. I even have the PS4 version on the... Subtitles, please. Hello, game. Oh, God. Oh. Exist out there. Hands you good game? extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Okay, the game is a little bit scratchy. But it seemed like it was okay when I tested it out. So, now granted, I didn't like sit here and, you know, watch the cutscenes. Game, please. <laughs> uh, maybe? Just a little Hi. bit? There we go. Just, has, just have to let it load go, for a minute. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. Oh, God. <laughs> I, 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 it's, it's trying as hard as, it, as hard as it can. Holy shit, I can't speak. I believe in you, little PS2. You got this. <laughs> Psycho, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, bro. Come on, PS2. Look, it's doing its best. It's got this. I believe in it. Just gotta, just gotta let it do its thing, man. It's gonna get there. It's gonna get there. <laughs> what an ugly alien! Wow, dude. I'm sure, that alien would think you were ugly too if it saw you. You know, like. <laughs> I have you know that alien won uh, prettiest uh, alien of whatever its planet's called <laughs> in the year. Uh, 3,674 because they use a different number calendar than we do. I don't know. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. Game, please. I believe. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this, but the DNA patterns in our cloning <laughs> banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. God, how long is this cutscene? Hopefully the cutscene's not like too too long, because I'm really worried it's gonna end up freezing up. Huron DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto 136, to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. 
Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're <laughs> right, 137. <laughs> Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta hey, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. some graniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. I don't think that hey, alien has any idea what's going on either. Up. Patience, crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So... What's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. Come on, dude. I wish my PS2 was a little bit closer so I could just give it a little bit of a, a loving the little rub there. Earth. A clone, it would be confusing. I feel that. What are you thinking of uh, streaming there, Psycho? Hope you're having a great stream. Thank you. I appreciate it. So far, it's going pretty well. We just started up not too long ago. Uh, let's head into the options. Do we have a progressive mode? We do. Heck yeah. I love that. Let me just go ahead and switch the profile over to progressive. There we go. Subtitles? Yes. I hate when games don't let you turn on the subtitles before you uh, go into like the first cutscene or whatever. That really bugs me. Just because I'm a subtitle guy. And then for stream, obviously, it's really nice to have the subtitles too. But whatever, at least we got him on now. That alien has anxiety. That alien's got issues, that's for sure. <laughs> Gotta flip it upside down for it to work. Wait, what? What are we... F oh, the PS2? Yeah. That's actually... I bought a uh, PS2... No, I don't want to exit the current game. Um, I bought a PS2 off of, like, eBay or somewhere. Welcome and, you know, it said that it had some issues. You may not have known this, and... I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. My, uh, I ended up giving it to my brother. But anyways, it, it did work, just not particularly well. Flipping it upside down or putting it on its side was the best way to get to work. Yes, I am. I'm from the States. Yeah, I don't live, like, on the coast, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we can upgrade our alien with you. Dope. I like that. That's what Pox's lab is for. I'm guessing the hangar is how we get into the actual game, then. Turnip seed farm. Destination Earth. Let's go, dude. Irish, hell yeah, man. That's awesome. I don't think I've had anyone that I know of from uh, Ireland in stream yet. Oh, I missed your uh, message, Lego. Watching college football analysis, reactions, and conversations. College football. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. As long as you don't rebroadcast the stream, that should be uh, that should be perfectly fine. I'm not much of a football guy myself, to be honest with you, as all of my uh, Madden gameplay should be <laughs> made pretty clear, man. I suck at those games, and most of the time I have no idea what's going on. I know the basic rules to American football, of course, but like, anything beyond that, and I'm just completely lost. What does Noodle want to eat? I have no idea, love. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto, to ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. No, Cryptosporidium. <laughs> so, uh, 5.30 a.m., yeah. Is, did you just get up, or have you not gone to bed yet? Analog stick. You can move about the area using the left analog stick. Oh, nachos sound really good. So does... So does Alfredo, though, to be honest with you. Okay, so we can fly around. Target a cow and press and hold the L1 button. The scan ability has appeared on the X button. Read the cow's mind by pressing the X button. Remember to continue to press and hold the L1 button. We can peer okay. Into the minds of Do we have, like, a limited amount of charge? Yeah, 
I'm not entirely sure how the uh, jetpack works. It seems like it only works for so long and then it kind of runs out of juice. But I don't see anything on the screen telling us how much juice we have left. So I'm sure it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Covered in nipples, yeah. All right, let's read the cow's mind. What do you think it's thinking of, man? It's thinking of Moo. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Love it. That's what I'm thinking of right now, too, actually. They eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Wait, what Attention do these aliens Earth eat with? Creature. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. <laughs> At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. <laughs> the procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? <laughs> Gosh, I hope I don't get tipped over. Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. <laughs> I don't care how many stuff. There's a response you for you. I don't have time for this. Target a cow and press and hold the L1 button. The PK ability has appeared on the triangle button. Tap triangle to lift the cow into the air and use the right analog stick to move it around. The neurons have evolved the astounding power of oh, I just realized, hold on. I need to go to the options and switch to invert. I can't do this. Invert. There we go. Up needs to go down and down needs to go up. It's the only way to play video games, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just, I can't. I can't do it any other way. Can I actually like? Okay, so I can just hold. Oh, and then circle and X to move it in and out. That's a little bit of a weird control scheme. Cause like you have to. Oh, you don't have to hold triangle the entire time. Okay, okay, okay. That's not too bad then. I thought that was much weirder than it was. Building a new build, hell yeah. That's actually really cool. I, it's funny, I just saw a video about bricklayers on, I don't remember if it was on like Facebook uh, shorts or YouTube shorts or TikTok, I don't remember where it was, but uh, a guy was arguing in favor of learning a trade such as bricklaying. Using the mental ability just drains concentration. The concentration meter is at the top left of the screen. The concentration meter recharges over time when not using your mental abilities. This makes sense. Aliens have the force. Uh, is it dead? I think it's dead. We killed the cow. I hardly lifted it. <laughs> I just, just barely lifted like two inches off the ground and it just dies. <laughs> mm, Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's holy mother... Martha, give me the shotgun! Press and hold the R1 button to fire the Zapomatic. Firing the Zapomatic drains the batteries. Wait for them to recharge before firing again. Aim the Zapomatic by using the right Attention. analog stick. Finally, we get a gun. Can we Just read his mind R1 first? Button. What's he thinking? Give that puny farmer a taste of the old Zapomatic. I'll shoot the melee at something. Last <laughs> uh. President Nixon's the greatest American. What's an Elvis? Uh, must be some new beating. What exactly is an owner anyway? Oh, do they actually? They actually read whatever they're whatever they're thinking, whatever their mind's saying. That's great. Exactly what is an utter anyways? That's. Every time I see a cow, man. Target, target the farmer's corpse and press and hold the L1 button. The extract ability has appeared in the circle button. Repeatedly tap circle to extract a brain. I vaguely remember this is like our goal for a large port of the game, right? Extracting their brains for, for DNA. Now, he's a little bit more of like a grayish-blue color, if anything. 
Crypto is protected from damage by a shield. The shield energy bar is shown at the top right. Evading combat for a short period of time will give the shield time to recharge. If the shield is depleted, Crypto becomes vulnerable to death. That makes sense. Totally understand. Uh, so I guess the 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 purple the purple pillars. That's that's our goal. We just gonna just gotta murder these dudes. Can I pick them up? How much damage does that do? Can we like hold down? No. Holding down R1 doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'd appreciate if you didn't shoot me. I came here in peace, but... Ow. And then... Ah, oh, no, I wanted to extract their brains, dude. Is this the... No, it's the police. I thought maybe it was the men in black. There's gotta be a level where the men in black show up. Not like the movie Even men in black, but you know, alien hunters. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. What is that? A new silo? Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum. Oh, the furonity. Vaporize Would pay for them to rip a hole in the space-time continuum now that would be awful <laughs> there's got to be a better way of using the gun than repeatedly tapping r1 right i don't remember i <laughs> to look i everyone should know by now that i'm terrible at paying any attention to, <laughs> to what's going on but did it say anything about like being able to to hold but i want the dna Give me, give me brains, dude. I gotta blow them up. Take their brains. Yeah, everything's okay now. Everything is fine. And before chickens are the the true dominant species of the world. No. Okay. Well. <laughs> Can we take chicken brains? Do they give us anything? Why does it look like it blew up in a in in a pool of water or something almost? I'm guessing those were meant to be feathers. It just looked weird. <laughs> This is... <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with the messing with the chickens. No. Okay, so we can only take human brains. That's fine, I suppose. Uh, what about the innocent... Oh. That's weird. She got stunned instead of, like, running or fighting back or doing anything. Oh, I just saw her head, like, expand. That was great. Love that little animation. A stretch already? Dude, I am fine with that. Let's stand up and stretch it out, dude. Yeah, somebody said that. I think Hattie might have said that pretty early on. Use your left analog stick to propel Ooh. the saucer forward. Damn, you're tipping my chair over whenever and a straight I straight left and right. Turn the saucer, use the right analog stick. Holy hell, you're right. It has already been 30 minutes. Press and hold R1 to fire the death ray. Firing the death ray for long periods will cause it to overheat, but it will quickly cool down when not in use. Okay. And again, I'm assuming we're just going for the purple. Yes, destroy everything. <laughs> Oh, it's not dead yet. I mean, it looked like it was on fire, okay? That much fire, that building wasn't long for the world either way. Hey, thank you for stopping in, man. I really do appreciate it. And I hope uh, your day at work goes reasonably well, at least. Malkin has departed from his last location. He's almost here. I'm excited for you, love. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! Why are they chanting? Because they're military? That's, that's what they do? I don't know. Got to keep that morale high whenever you're fighting, you know, invading aliens. 
<laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised they didn't just like instantly blow up. That's a hell of a tank. When the saucer takes damage, the hall integrity is reduced. That makes sense. The hall integrity bar is shown at the top right. The only way to repair the hall is to find a repair pod. Pox drops them in when you destroy certain buildings. So destroy shit, get health, got it. When the hall is reduced to zero, the saucer is destroyed. And we dead. Oh, because they gave away their position? I'm pretty sure, like, with an alien invasion thing going on here, their position was kind of kind of screwed either way, man. <laughs> so our, our health's what? The top right, the green bar? That would make sense. Can we, like, destroy these dudes down here? Not that their guns really do a whole lot, but, you know, just for the fun of it. I mean, the game's called Destroy All Humans, not Let a Couple Live just because they're not that annoying. <laughs> I'm having fun, at least. <laughs> but no, seriously, thank you, man. How do you, if you if you haven't already you got uh, left, how do you want your you name pronounced? Is it Lolly? Lolly B? What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right, good. That was Me the too. best. Green, not gray. Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Cattle mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears and miss cow abuse allegations. Uh, I don't think he disappeared. I think he was murdered and his brain exploded. <laughs> but <laughs> Lolly B, Lolly is your first name. Okay, okay, okay. I just never, you never know with uh, like usernames how to pronounce them. <laughs> so I always get confused as though. But all right, have a good day, Lolly. <laughs> Thank you for stopping in. Need to land the saucer to harvest DNA. Once on the ground, you can gather more DNA by extracting brain stems, completing side missions, and collecting Furon probes. You will be notified when you have collected enough DNA to unlock the next mission. So, how do we land? Do we just go over the blue thing? And, yep. Easy enough. I guess we could use... Ah, uh, maybe not. I was going to say, maybe we could use the, uh, the, the saucer to kill the humans. <laughs> and then to destroy all humans if you will and then go down and uh pick them up pick up their their brains but i guess the the giant death laser is probably going to do a little bit of damage you know what i mean uh press the r2 button to cycle to the anal probe <laughs> nice it's about time we got to do some anal probing press the r1 button to fire the anal probe giving the target a mild probe this causes them to grab their butt and run for the hills press and hold the r1 button to charge up the probe the pure shock of this super probe will cause the target's head to explode. This yields a juicy, DNA-rich, rich, fresh brainstem. There we go. So the, <laughs> so the real mission here is just to probe as many people as humanly possible. So what was it? Was it R1? And then we, we charge. Ah, I see it going up. Oh, we missed. I think we almost anal probed a chicken. <laughs> oh, you get the same amount of DNA though. I was kind of hoping that you would get more DNA for the uh for the anal probe one since, you know, it is fresh after all. <laughs> oh. I don't like the shotguns, man. Shotguns hurt alien? Hey, that one gave more, 25. Maybe the, the dangerous people, the dudes with guns, maybe they just give more? Risk-reward sort of thing? What is the... Oh, this must be a side mission. That makes sense. Wish to test your observational skills, Crypto. Race to the locations I tell you as quickly as you can. Okay. So the purple... All people are still alive. The jetty. Let's go. It's not the. It's not exactly the world's most exciting race, but we're not like. 
can we swim? <laughs> Do aliens know how to swim? Does anyone, does anyone, uh, I don't, I don't know enough about aliens. I, uh, don't mind me. You get to live for now. I'll come back and murder you later, I promise. Actually, I'll probably forget, but I'll try to remember to come back and kill you later. Is there any rice left? Do you have plans for it? you make more? No, you can eat the rice if you want rice. If I want more rice, I can always make more. One of the beautiful things about rice is it's super easy to make. Oh, we're already heading to the finish line? I guess, I mean, it is the beginning of the game. <laughs> Makes some level of sense that the races and stuff at the beginning would be pretty easy. Just, <laughs> just meh. Okay, well, don't eat the rice if you don't want it. That's fine, too. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so technically, I think that gives us enough DNA to, to move on, but kind of want to do more of the side missions and shit. You can select the next mission, buy upgrades, and view the archives from the Furon Mothership. Can return to the mothership by pressing the start button and selecting return to mothership. That makes sense. Uh, is there not like some sort of indicator whenever you finish a thing? What if you click on it? No, it still says it'll give us 175. That doesn't make sense. Armageddon? That sounds like a side mission I want to do. Crypto, I've had enough of this accursed town. Destroy all buildings, leave no trace. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, okay, it just started instantly. I thought it was going to, like, put us in the... In the, the UFO, but nope. Hopefully, by going in the UFO, it doesn't, like... I don't know, reset the mission or something? Is it even possible for us to destroy buildings with our, our basic little zappy zap gun? Whatever the hell they want to call that. Hydrate? Okay. Oh. Open up my water bottle. That smells like Mr. Noodle. Not in a bad way, just, you know. <laughs> Mr. Noodle broke their water bottle. It's the same one I have, though, so... I told her for today she could use mine, and then I'd pick her up one uh, while she was at work. And I have, but anyways, she took it with her today. So now it smells like her pretty strongly. Thankfully, she generally smells pretty decent. <laughs> At least it doesn't smell like shit. I mean, could be much worse. These buildings take a bit longer to go down than I expected. Do they take damage over time or... Or do we have to, like, actually hold our, our laser on them? Oh, there's still, like, military and shit floating around here? I'll be honest, I thought we were done with them. Ariana Grande's Cloud 9? Well, Ariana Grounies Hood 9? Is it Cloud 9 or Could 9? <laughs> I thought it was Cloud 9. fall asleep to stream <laughs> uh, i mean look if anybody if anybody wants to use the stream to go to bed i'm perfectly fine with that but uh i don't think mr noodle wants to go to bed yet i could totally see her taking a nap right about now though god i feel like we went to the wrong buildings man like in the wrong order Is it better to, to hold the button down or like to tap it repeatedly, I wonder? You know, I need them I need them pro strats to take these buildings down. We might be okay. We still got 50 seconds left. Only two buildings. I think we got this. Wanna pop in and say hello, but it's bedtime now, so talk to you later. Have a wonderful night, Psycho. I do appreciate you stopping in, saying hello. Even if it was just to look at your wonderful founder batch. <laughs> uh. 200 more DNA, I'll take it, man. The ending of the missions are so kind of like anticlimactic, right? It's like you finish it up and then just a, a text box just kind of pops up. It's like, hey, you did it. Good job. Like, oh, <laughs> thanks, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know. I just, you would think there would be like a little winning jingle or something, you know? Final Fantasies have the, the victory theme and, and 
Zelda, whenever you collect something, has the 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 opening chest jingle. I don't <laughs> I don't know. Just something. Wanna put nips on Batman? <laughs> oh my god. There was that one uh Batman movie, wasn't there? That had the 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 bat suit with with nipples built in. I don't remember which one it was, but I don't even think I've ever seen that one, but that was a thing. I, I, I'm i fairly certain. I could be crazy and completely misremembering, but... <laughs> Val Kilmer? Bruh, I have no idea <laughs> what that is. Is Val Kilmer a person? A movie? Schmacker put nips? Schmacker put nips on Batman. Batman Forever, yeah. That sounds right. <laughs> You're furious about the Batman nips? <laughs> no nips. It was a weird ass looking suit, IMO. I've only ever actually sat down and watched uh, Batman v Superman, which was okay. And then the, the Dark Knight trilogy. I haven't watched any of the other Batman films from like start to finish. I've seen pieces of... of um, I think it was the one with, didn't, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger play Mr. Freeze at some point or something? Because I feel like I've seen one about that, but. Val Kilmer is your favorite movie. Wait, is that just a movie? Like, the name of a movie? If we destroy the food producing humans, it will cause starvation and panic. I'm brilliant. Get on it. It's really weird to me still. That the the missions don't tell you whenever like you've completed that one already or whatever. Did he just? <laughs> I don't think I even killed that farmer. I'm pretty sure the other one shot him in the back. <laughs> I mean, thanks for the help, I guess, bro. <laughs> Ow, dude! Ow. Oh, that hurt. Oh, God. <laughs> Is there fall damage? Okay, maybe it's time. Good work, oh, Joe. we did it. Excellent. Good. Let me the hell out of here before we die. <laughs> Val Kilmer is Batman and Robin, 1995. Was that the name of, like, the director or something? Or, or are you talking about the one that Arnold Schwarzenegger... Look, the delay in chat and me talking makes it really hard sometimes. <laughs> I think you might be talking about the one that had Arnold Schwarzenegger playing Mr. Freeze. You're just very passionate about, about, about Batman in general. Holy shit, the stream can't speak English thing is re reading... Ringing true tonight, boy, let me tell you. Alright, let's go ahead and go on to the next mission just because I want to see what other sorts of things we can do. Val Kilmer played Batman. Oh, gotcha. See, I, I don't make any uh make any excuses. I just I I know like fuck all about Batman, man. As far as the the movies go, I I know a tiny bit from the 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 comics, but only from like watching videos and talking to other people. That's about it. Because I haven't actually read the comics myself. I want to someday. I, I think, like, comics I find very interesting. And I want to get into collecting and reading them. But at the same time, it's like, I just have no idea where to start. Because there's been so many versions of the comics. You know, so many re-releases, redos, so many different storylines. Like... It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon <laughs> ship happened upon Earth so on its way They launched so many nukes the that they lost their, Human their dicks. Society Got it. Young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive fuck. today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. 
Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves. But with each iteration, <laughs> the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Okay, so they so the the this game basically says the uh oh what's that that theory called um in real world in in the real world where aliens like came to earth and basically created humans uh, I don't remember <laughs> I can't think of the name of the theory but anyways basically that's what they're saying in one way or another these aliens created life on earth Do we have enough? I'm assuming we need DNA for the upgrades, right? Or is it a different a currency? Upgrade, perhaps. No? How about your gun or your abilities? Uh, let's check gun, us first. Brain implant? Wise choice. I need to move the screen up a little bit too, it looks like. So I see the, the DNA thing on the bottom there is getting a little chopped off. So vertical position, just move it up. Uh, right about there looks okay. There we go. Uh, okay, so this stuff is completely... The zap is completely unavailable right now. These are... Okay. <laughs> so nothing is available to upgrade at the moment for us. What about the saucer? Also absolutely nothing. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Can't do shit in Pox's lab right now. Got it, game. Why not just, like, keep that option locked for now then? And, uh open it up whenever we can actually do something with it time for you to go to bed too hecking school i i feel it <laughs> it's been you know 10 years since i went to college but i feel it man college was a wonderful time and a terrible time i just want to make sure that i'm not yeah it's not unavailable okay i just want to make sure i wasn't being an idiot and you could couldn't like just click on it and 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 grab it or something like that yeah, have a good night, Ru. I don't think I actually remember to say that. <laughs> Take it easy, man. I hope school is not too bad for you tomorrow. Eight to five, yeah. That's uh, when I went to college, I was full-time. And I don't mean full-time like 12 hours, but full-time as in 40 hours a week. So, I feel that pain all too much. Congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair. Find a malleable human and lead it back to your ship for questioning. Get the picture. Oh, yes, I can I get the picture. As humans become aware of the chaos crypto is causing, icons will appear above their heads. As more humans become aware, the alert level will be raised and ever increasing waves of authorities will hunt crypto down. The four icons at the top of the screen show the current alert level. The alert level will slowly drop over time. Um, at some point, don't you get the ability to, like, shapeshift? Uh, can I lift it? it? It must be too heavy for me to lift. Can I shoot it? Oh! That's what... That's weird. The zap is working completely differently now than it was before. See, now it has a charge that runs out. Did the game break? I mean, it did have some trouble loading that first level. To take a hollow bob disguise, target a human with the crosshairs and press the circle button. There we go. Once you are projecting the hollow bob illusion, most humans will no longer see you as an alien, and the alert level will quickly drop. The hollow bob illusion drains concentration. Cortex scan for more. Wait, what happened? Uh, in the first... In the first level the first mission we were doing whenever i was using the little zappy zap gun i couldn't constantly shoot it um i could only like shoot it in rapid fire but it also didn't seem to ever be running out of energy so i think it i think it glitched in some way in the first level but my game disc is also a bit scratched and it was having trouble loading the first level so it may have just been related to that uh can i hollow bob from all the way over here i can howdy folks can I anal probe you while I'm hollow bobbed? No. 
Well, they don't seem to be. Uh, okay, they see. <laughs> The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those stupid policemen and the military will fine. come to investigate you and take <laughs> they, you down. They, they didn't see anything. It's fine. Everything's fine. I want to be this person. I just want to collect all the DNA, man. I want to literally destroy all humans, please and thank you. Oh, I can't collect it because... Grab it. Oh god, they see me. Can you still... Oh, okay, he can still see who I am. <laughs> you can use your Cortex scan ability to gain concentration, thereby allowing you to remain disguised for longer. While targeting the human, press and hold L1, then press X. Hi, guys. <laughs> Don't mind me. What we need is the dumbest Weakest willed, most malleable. Oh god damn it. This dude still knows who I am. Is there any way to get him to not know me who I am? You just have to scan them all. Check out them cantaloupes, God. I'm with this guy. I too love me a good cantaloupe. Throw some salt on him? Mm. I need I need people to scan, please, before my thingy runs out. Hey, Noodle, Reminds thank you so much for the five bits. I accidentally took that debutante home from the club. <laughs> thank you for the five life. bits, love. Boy, was that embarrassing. Are we sure that's not the dumbest guy alive? I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I got to sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Hell of a metaphor. Yes, I mean, yes. <laughs> like proteins from primordial ooze, a uh, pattern is merging. Scan some more human minds, crypto. Seven minute itch, and I want to scratch it, baby. Yowza, yowza. Look, I'm not positive the people we're scanning are actually the dumbest people alive. It's going to be this guy, isn't it? Do you want to wash clothes today or tomorrow? I say do it today and just get right. it over with, but it's up to you, I love. analyzed all the thoughts you've collected. And I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way is more fun. <laughs> Silence says tomorrow. Not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing she's envied and desired by other humans she's highly persuadable best of all she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection Wait, who are we actually targeting you i wasn't paying enough attention i never do to pay attention what is today's but yesterday's tomorrow i mean what is today but yesterday's to i that that checks out you're right i can't I don't even have a... Damn, dude. That's deep. <laughs> target a human and press and hold the L1 button. The hypno ability has appeared on the square button. Hypnotize the target by pressing and holding square. Commands can then be implanted into the mind of the target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Town's doing great. Business is booming. Hope is on the way. Yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. My mind says Amos... But my body says Andy. <laughs> walk to saucer. Distraction. Sleep. Uh, walk to saucer. That's Mr. Krabs. Wait. Oh, was that was that like something that Mr. Krabs has said? Oh God, I need to. I need to. I need to get thoughts, please. <laughs> I almost ran out of concentration. houses all look alike. Which one do I live in again? Oh my God, all these humans are idiots, man. I love, I'm pretty sure it's a George Carlin quote. Um, think of how dumb the average person is. Now remember that half the population is dumber than that. <laughs> that's, that's this town in a nutshell right here, dude. Hollywood, here I come. Save me a seat at Schwab's. Schwab's? I guess we probably don't need to hide anymore, but if we, if we, uh, if we stop, 
pro or if we we go out of our disguise while we have someone hypnotized will it like break their hypno hypnosis That took her forever. Look like the pie eating contest. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh God! Please, no. Oh, oh, it's it's Candles. <laughs> I hate this person so much. It's probing time. Oh yeah, right there, that's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. She so seems vocal, to so be enjoying her probing. Never fail. Oh, Kino, shit. The authorities are on their way. Get in your saucer. I sat the controller down for a moment. Turns out it might have been a bad time to sit it down. It's okay. We escaped. Or are we fighting off the 5-0? The do I get to do a little bit of shooty shooty? Yeah, let's go. Destroy the fair. Wait, the entire fair? Everything? Okay. Fuck this fair, I guess. I kind of like fairs. In fact, I'm, I'm going to be going to one soon. But, you know, that's fun. <laughs> I guess I guess just absolutely annihilating it. That's cool, too. Should I just focus on destroying the fair? Or should I shoot down, like, the people that are shooting me? I'm assuming they'll just respawn, right? Do I get to destroy this? Yes, wash it all burn. Can we like hit this? <laughs> I was hoping we could make it roll, but you know what? That works too. I'm honestly kind of surprised how hard it is to take down tents, man. Light a match in the wrong spot. And I'd expect half these things to go up in flames. Wait, how are the bleachers sticking out of the the big top tent in the middle there? Disaster at Rockwell Fair. Fairground left in tatters by freak storm. They got some good cover up people, don't they? So what are all those symbols? I'm assuming the exclamation mark is something along the lines of, you know, people notice you. Then the police badge is probably the police. Is the star just the military then? But what would the M be? Maybe that's men in black? Or is that even an M? It looks very M-y. Well, I don't know. I think it's time to go back to the the mothership. I want to like get a little bit farther in the game to maybe where we can start doing upgrades and things like that cuz I don't know. Upgrades are cool. New mission available. Orthopox has researched a new upgrade. Pox is always researching new technology. The gadgets he creates allows Crypto to upgrade his gun, the saucer, and his PK ability. However, Pox is a bit of a mercenary who will only outfit you with the upgrade if you slip him some DNA for his own personal stash. Why does he have a personal stash of DNA? It's a little weird, to be honest. Maybe he's like a mad scientist type and he needs that DNA to do some scrupulous things. Upgrades are purchased at Pox's lab. Keep an eye out for new ones. What do you got for me, my guy? No, not back. Alien upgrades it is. Step inside my chain. chain lightning to one additional target. Oh, I like that. How much does it cost? 250? That's not too bad. And then, oh, there's the upgrade to pick up vehicles. I mean, I could see that one being useful, but at the same time, yeah, it is almost that time. Um the the I feel like whenever we need our weapons and stuff there's probably going to be multiple people around so the 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 lightning gun thing chaining to one more person's probably a little bit more 
useful at the moment. Okay, and there's no saucer upgrades yet. Well, in that case, we might as well just upgrade both. We have the money for it. Wait, does every upgrade, like, double in price? Oh, that might be bad. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. It's fine. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? We have to grind a little bit more. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, though, it is closing in on ad time, like Silence was saying. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick, guys. I hate having ads run in the middle of gameplay. So I'm going to switch on over to the please wait screen, as I have it called here. And we'll be back in just a few minutes after I have a chance to stretch, get a drink, do all that good stuff. It's an excellent chance for you all to do the same. But anyways, we'll be right back. Yet, or I would probably mess around with it a lot more. Because hair isn't as long as yours, but still. <laughs> um. Okay. This door is sealed shut. A rusty key may help. Okay, we haven't got the rusty key. Can't seem to go anywhere else. We got... Oh, we do got the 45 orbs, though. Holy shit. Didn't even notice, man. Well, that didn't take all that long at all. You could Take my orbs, bro. Used 45 red orbs. Broke the seal. And what we got. It's basically that in a podcast in one, so you think I'd like it. They also get in-depth about the prints and how they set it up. And Mr. Noodle got stuck on 3D printing TikTok. Really, love? I didn't even know that. The orb fragment. Also known as the fragment of life, but it's only one-fourth of the whole piece. When it's become whole, it will have the power to increase the vitality's maximum limit. Very cool. So that's how we get our uh, HP upgrades and shit like that. I like it. I like it. Speaking of podcast, uh, Dorseman and I have been talking about trying to get a somewhat consistent schedule set up for the podcast. We're hoping to start doing Sunday nights um, nearly every week for the podcast. We don't know for sure yet if that's going to happen, but that's kind of that's kind of the plan, though. That's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna shoot for. Um, I have a semi-consistent schedule, so at work, so it's not all that bad for me. But uh, he sadly does not have a very consistent schedule. His is a little all over the place. It's 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 a uh, it's a bit of a mess to be honest. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do the best we can though with the time that we got. Cool wiggly dra dragons and slugs and fat Pokemon. What <laughs> what the hell? Wiggly dragons and slugs. I'm surprised you've never showed me any of the uh, 3D printing stuff, since you know I'm into it. It's a puppet that resembles the residents of this castle. Mr. Noodle should love that, man. She loves some. Uh, she loves some puppets. For the most part, you have no idea what the hell they're talking about, but it's interesting nonetheless. I know you recently saw something about 3D printed swords on TikTok, like like full scale swords or <laughs> like what kind of swords man like little play swords because like full size that's sick man that's dope you love what puppets like this like the the like the marionette doll thingy here i mean it's not moving right now at least not yet it might be eventually i honestly don't remember like i said it's been a long ass time since i played this it's been long enough at this point that I might as well just consider this a, uh, a new playthrough because it has been... Oh, uh, shit, I was a teenager not too long out of high school. 10, 10, 11, probably like 12 years ago, give or take, since I played this thing. Oh, there we go. That's a dope looking uh, little puppet thing there ventriloquist type <laughs> i mean i don't know if these are what you would call ventriloquist type but uh yeah they're they're a little creepy looking though in my opinion outside the mothership there's a whole planet full of evil humans just waiting to be stomped on anyways <laughs> welcome back guys i'm back at least um i don't think you guys could hear it because we were on the break screen but one of the things that, uh, like, the the commander or whatever the hell, you know, the, the dude who runs the ship that's brought us here, sent us here, whatever, he was saying random voice lines. And uh, one of them was like, uh, whatever, it's your electric bill. 
But maybe you could turn the console off. Haven't you ever heard of global warming? And I don't know. That just made me chuckle. Uh, Citizen Crypto. Rockwell, let's go. What kind of hell are we going to be raising this time? I wish I would have played more of this game back on, you know, whenever I was younger and <laughs> playing the PS2. Because it's actually pretty fun, man. Like, it's just some dumb, Those mindless fun. Bovoids are emitting unusual levels of radiation. Stop wasting time and investigate them immediately. I could see it, like, later on getting some more puzzle slash stealth elements introduced to it or something with the whole mind control. Because, like, I noticed whenever we did the, the mind control, for instance, it did pop up with things like... Uh, cause distraction and stuff like that so i could see it getting a lot harder later on we can hypnotize the cows what does that do distraction and sleep okay well no i don't actually want to do either one can we cancel scan oh they're zombie cows <laughs> what <laughs> what Clearly, they've genetically altered these pathetic gas bags and turned them into radioactive, exploding zombie cows. Oh, Show clearly. Them the folly of their mad science. Of course, they're radioactive, mad zombie cows. What else would they be? There's no other possible explanation. Wait, does somebody actually see me? I hear someone yelling. You sure I can't hide? I'm pretty sure I'm hiding right now. Time for a zappy zap. Hey. Oh, that's right. They did just say the cows blow up. <laughs> so wait, they're feeding them radioactive hay? To, to mutate them or whatever? To turn them into zombie cows for whatever reason? I can't possibly think of a good reason to turn cows into zombie cows, but you know, whatever. Mayor calls town meeting. Plans to finally explain what's going on. Where did Doubt he it. Come from? Never mind that. You must stop him before he publicly reveals your existence. Okay, so hollow bomb the mayor. But we don't want the the police to find out. Can we jump when we're hollow, Bob? No. Can we, like, is there any way to move faster? Can we run, maybe? Can we switch our hollow, Bob? How about you? I mean, I don't know if it actually matters, but I just feel like, you know, a police officer in this little hangar area would stick out a little bit less than just some random citizen. But maybe it doesn't really matter. Where is the police commissioner? He was assigned to protect me. Okay, we hollow bobbed him. Now what? Every one of the dang cows and then look like it stuck some sort of device up the poor thing. And after all that, I didn't even get to see Miss Rockwell. She just walked right on by with her crops laid out flat in circles like a fourth of July pinwheel. I told Edgar. There goes our savings. No new shoes for the twins. And I guess Darlene's just gonna have to live another year with that overbite. Greetings, fellow human agricultural engineers. There is nothing going on here. Everything is normal. Carry on with your pathetic human lives. That is all. Now wait just a cotton picking minute. Mr. Mayor, I've lived in this town all my life, and I voted for you twice in the last election. Now I'm entitled to a god darn God answer. Damn. If they ain't nothing going on here, how come all my cows is glowing like lightning bugs? What you say to that, Whipper Snapper? And glowing is normal. Deny alien involvement. Feign ignorance. Tell the truth. Uh, pretend glowing is normal. Obviously. That, well, that's just the uh, healthy inner glow that comes from chewing a, a cud of fresh green Rockwell grass. Why I uh, chew it myself all the time. Got some in my craw right now. Better than snuff. <laughs> we, we got approval from that. <laughs> uh, threaten audience? No, maybe we'll blame communism. That seems that seems good. 
I'll tell you what's been going on around here. Communism, that's what. Mm, there we go. There we go. Anything bad happens, just blame communism. Problem solved. Rambling coherently, act patriotic, tell a joke, insult audience. Ramble incoherently. As a matter of fact, this is a particularly good time of year for amateur astronomers. Venus is generally visible in the evening, and of course we have the uh, Leonid Media Shower coming up in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't figure that would go over well. I'm assuming they wanted us to do something patriotic, but... Enslave human populace? Threaten communists? Discredit scientists? Uh, honestly, both of these options sound like something so, uh, that should be said, but... Strange light moving and changing direction at incredible speed in the night sky. You would just think to yourself... No commie's gonna distract me from my patriotic duty with a couple of bottle rockets. No, sir. Now, wait just a second. There we go. There we go. Explain the destruction at the fair. There was a freak storm. Uh, make empty promises. my lips. I will not rest until we find the perpetrators of the fairground carnage and uh, bring him to justice. Well, now, hold on. How come nobody in Santa Modesta has been seeing anything like this? Uh, blame the cows. <laughs> Just bring it right back around to the cows. Nah, in Salt Santa Modesta, everyone knows that place is the because worst. We're real Americans, and they're not. Next. There we go. Yep. Yep. See, I know how to play to a crowd, man. <laughs> Nate, your luck, man. So, it's been ridiculous. See, there's nothing to trouble your puny human brains about. The mayor's right. This was all just a random series of suspiciously coincidental yet easily rationalized events. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 100% farmer guy. Yeah, that's right. Give it up. Let's hear it from me. Good night and have a pleasure tomorrow. What a bunch of losers. Minds like mud. This planet is easy pickings. Crypto, did you hear what that human said during your speech? Must have missed it. Busy digging on the love. Is it about Santa Modesto? Uh, There's another human hide mm, nearby. Let's go. Santa Modesta, he calls it. You must discover its location and make your way there. We've got more humans to control. Nate always wins the duels, man. <laughs> There's no point in ever dueling him. He's cheated the system somehow. I don't know how exactly, but he has. Mary declares town safe. Exploding cows under control. Declares town official. 10,000 points? Does silence even have 10,000 rolling around right now? Collect 205 DNA to unlock the next mission. I mean, we've already done that, but... We might as well have a bit of fun with people, right? I mean, we're here. Got to do some probing while we're in town. It would be it'd be rude not to at the end of the day. Got it. I think the completionist may have played this game at some point. And honestly, I feel like that'd be a giant pain in the ass, man. Just because of like all of the little things that there are to find all of the little uh i've already forgotten the name of our alien race but they have little artifacts hidden around and things like that and you would have to find all them probably max out your dna on every level like oh no we need 500 don't we so it was already counting that we had 250 or something oh speaking of little things to find hello I'm not an E.T. You're an E.T. How's your ass feel right about now, guy? <laughs> Getting glass cannoned over here. I told you, he wins every time, man, without fail. He loses like one out of every ten. It's ridiculous. <laughs> if I could... <laughs> He's a wizard. If I could nerf him specifically, I would, but I don't have that option.
Uh, I think you'll find I'm not under arrest, Mr. Officer, sir. How's your head feel? <laughs> I have more fun, I think, probing the stuff than doing all the little missions. Is there, like, in the, the pause menu, is there invasion report? Crypto clones created? Wait, what's that? We cloned ourselves? G-men erased. Oh, that's what they call, like, the, the men in black. Robots destroyed, enemies ionized. I was hoping there would be, like, something here that told us how many... Um... Of the, the side quests we've done. Versus how many there are left to do. But it doesn't appear like it. Oh, can we go swimming? I still never found out if these aliens hate water or not. Yes, they do. <laughs> Holy hell, yes, they do. That, that dropped our health quick. Our shields, rather. Super quick. Where is our ship? Do we have... I'm assuming that's the home icon. It looks like a home icon. Maybe it's technically a, uh, it's probably technically a, a, a spaceship icon. Oh, dude, they should have been watching a movie about, like, aliens invading or something like that. Maybe that's just a north symbol. <laughs> I think that might just be a north symbol, man. Is it the exclamation mark? No, that's just a person. Well, I'm thoroughly lost. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, no. We want to do PK. Nope, we want to do extract, actually. Oh, excuse me, sir. Sir, where did he go? I think we just had a physics glitch, man. That dude just disappeared. He is gonzo. Oh, no, it is our spaceship. We just traveled a lot farther than I thought we did. We can hover forever. We just have to constantly hit X. All right. Well, now that we're here, uh, return to mothership. <laughs> Look, it's for my immersion, okay? We got to get back to the spaceship before we can return to the mothership, obviously. New mission available. Orthopox has researched a new upgrade. Awesome. What did he uh, research? Weapon upgrades? PK upgrades? You know what they say spaceship about upgrades? Cranium, no, I have no idea. What do they say about our big craniums? Ah, Increase recharge rate. Uh, sure. I mean, we have the DNA for it, so... Might as well. I mean, there's no reason not to. What time is it? 131? We have time for another mission. Let's go, dude. Alien pool party? Uh, I've already found out that pools and this alien do not mix. So an alien pool party just sounds like a bad time, man. My vote is on kind of try and not <laughs> go in the pool. Maybe stay away from water in general, honestly. First up, I want you to find the alpha male of this town. Perhaps we can gain an insight into the way this whacked human social hierarchy functions. Honestly, like the first thing you should do is take a human disguise. In this mission, it's vital you remain okay. completely you're incognito. If your true form is seen by anyone, the mission will fail. Scan any humans you find. They might be able to tell you where the <laughs> mayor is located. So if anyone sees us, mission failed, huh? Yeah, about that. I think uh <laughs> I think we maybe already lost that objective there, guy. $500 to that campaign and still no invitation to the pool party at the motel. Maybe How I dare he? Photos to the tabloids after all. Oh, you got photos? Definitely sell them to the tabloids. Is that a propane tank? That propane tank looks like it's glowing, dude. You might want to get your propane tanks checked out. There we go. Alien invasion flicks. If only there were some way to electronically facilitate the private viewing of illicit photography. I predict it will happen in the distant future of 1975. 
It will be called the Discotron, and it will change the face of humanity. Wait, at first I thought he was talking about porn, but now I honestly don't know what this guy's talking about. The Discotron? Can we get hit by cars? We can, but <laughs> I think the car took more damage than we did, that. though. Vacuum cleaner Step salesman off. made a very compelling pitch. They, oh. they look so look happy. Out. Oh, I can't stand it. I hate this stupid, small-minded little town. I'm getting out of here if it's the last thing I do. <sighs> Who am I kidding? Who was I'm she looking at? The pool party, pick up some dumb young stud, take him home, and drown my mm. sorrows in cheap, meaningless. There you go. That's what you gotta do, man. Solve all of your problems. Where is there anyone else for us to scan around here that can give us a hint on where this pool party is located? All these people are just oh, useless boy. humans. That Ike. You sure could barbecue with them. <laughs> Did you? Are Ike, you okay? The barbecuing president. I like Ike. He's no President Huffman, but he sure knew oh how to win a war. Gotta watch out for them cars, man. They're dangerous. They'll just run right into you. Look at that. Oh, never mind. That one actually stopped. Uh, maybe the pool party's down this way. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. But I got oh, a sneaking God. suspicion we should go this way. <laughs> or two. No, make that three. I wouldn't suggest downing three volume, lady. I mean, it's your life, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Ah, smell that suburban air. You can't get that in the city. No siree. <laughs> Full party this way. Are we just going in a big circle? Never mind, it's right here, isn't it? I've got to keep there up we with go. The Joneses. If only I could remember who the Joneses are. There seems to be a human social ritual in progress. Perhaps you can discover what's going on by scanning them. The only thing little and green around here is my prostate. This uh, is pathetic. So is this pool party. If your prostate's green, you might want to get that checked out. I'm just throwing that out there, man. I don't know. You think it's much she wants an extra long, long nap? She's going to be taking a hell of a nap, parties. dude. Eh, at least we've outlawed the chicken dance. Our... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm about to lose my disguise. Lead everyone from the party. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, scan, scan. <laughs> if this is a pool party, why isn't anyone actually... Oh man, we were so close. I thought for sure we were going to get caught. Maybe because this was a mid-2000s games and they didn't have the technology or time. But I think if I have to polish that floor one more time, I'll just die. Oh, there's... That was surprisingly easy for the mission. I can only assume that as the, the time goes on, the missions are going to get harder and harder, but... So far, they've been relatively painless. Good work, Crypto. Unfortunately, you seem to have awakened the local constabulary. Be on your guard. You'll need a new weapon to handle the Santa Modesta police force. So I'm unlocking your Destructo Ray. Try it out now on the fives. Y'all have a gambling problem. Uh, <laughs> press the R2 button to cycle to the Disintegrator Ray. Press the R1 button to fire the disintegrate array. Press and hold the R1 button to fire a burst. Requires ammo. Look on rooftops and other places for said ammo. Patrols ordered to keep an eye out for suspicious activity. I'm assuming we can be caught now, right? Like, that's fine. Holy Oh, they were completely disintegrated. I like it. This is my new favorite weapon. Are we just supposed to... Okay, yeah, I see the percentage thing now. We just had to kill them all. Where are they? Oh, there's one right in front of me. Okay. <laughs> Big boom. <laughs> Hey! 
Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for another five bits, love. I appreciate you. I'm assuming maybe the purple dot's like more ammo then or something. So I thought the purple dot normally like led us to our... <laughs> led us to our... Uh... Objective, but... What are you mang? I mean, if you don't want to give bits, you don't have to give bits. <laughs> if that's what you're mang. Ah, uh, 69%. Nice. Can't we just leave it there? You don't want to do close? You don't have to do them tonight, then. You can wait until tomorrow to do them. I'm sure the clothes aren't going to go anywhere between now and then. Ah, dude, no. I want to stay up. I want to stay up top. Too many things going boom down here. I mean, sure, I'm the one making it go boom, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Do the cars count? Yes. It seems like blowing up cars does take down the percentage. We are critically low on amp. Oh. We only had to get it to 50%, I suppose. Motel Party Madness said Santa Modesta youths caught in violent jazz music hysteria. <laughs> that damn jazz. Ow! I don't remember giving you permission to shoot me, sir. I did not appreciate that. Maybe you'll do the dishes, clean the litter boxes, and take out the trash, too. Well, that sounds awfully productive. Wait, what are we doing now? Not that. Mission goals. When you're ready, return. Oh, okay. It's nothing. Just have some fun for a bit. Blow stuff up. I like that mission goal. That's a good goal. Uh, I'm not an alien. You're an alien. I'm just a... Am I a grandma? I think I'm grandma. <laughs> Completely inconspicuous grandma just running down the middle of the streets. I mean, I don't know about where you're from, but this happens in my town all the time, dude. Grandma's running around going wild. <laughs> it's a terrible thought, but is grandma, grandma's gone wild a thing? <laughs> There's girls gone wild, of course, but what about grandma's gone wild? Someone's gotta, someone's gotta pander to that, to that gilf audience. We blow up the military vehicles with this? Yes, we can. Let's go. Goodbye, sir. I wish brutally murdering people gave us DNA. <laughs> I understand why it doesn't. It would make absolutely no sense at all for it to. But I do kind of wish it did, man. It would make collecting DNA be a hell of a lot simpler at the very least. just run around and shoot everything i mean generally speaking bits of them go flying that contains dna right might not be the ultra rich brainstem dna but surely it's like worth a point or two <laughs> televisions of doom uh, that sounds like a hell of a mission man does that mean there's going to be like reporters on scene talking about the last thing that happened or something and maybe we have to stop them from doing so Oh my god, guys, you know what I heard today? Nickelback is apparently making a return. Um, they put out a little teaser on their Twitter account, but it's actually, like, a little they bit heavy. So it's weird. It's not what I would ever expect from Nickelback, of all people. Savvier, grittier, stringier, harder to fool. Keep your eyes sharp and your wits sharper. Not in the open. Duck in here. Hold the frequency. Hit me. We're go for phase one. Our guys inside the station? Just waiting for the word. And the tape? And the briefcase. All queued up. Subliminal TV messages. What'll Majestic think of next? Search me. You know what a rhetorical question is? Not a clue. <sighs> Come on. Those black suits again. What's a majestic? I'm not certain, but it gives me an idea, Crypto. Wait, let me grab something to write with. 
If our plan is to succeed, simply reading human minds will be insufficient. We must control them. To ease the harvesting of their brain stems, grease the wheels, so to speak. Sounds like a gas. How do we do it? I believe your ebon garbed friends have provided us direction. Oh, use the subliminal messaging. In the, uh... From the TVs to... To, uh, control the, the human race more, more easily? I'm into it. Why won't the car blow up? Excuse me, game. <laughs> I <laughs> I feel like this car should have blown up by now. Retrieve the briefcase from the Majestic Agents before they reach the TV station. Uh, not the anal probe. Die, sir, please. Are you still alive? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Go down. Oh, was the red thing up in the corner his uh his health bar? These G-men got a hell of a health bar, man. Didn't realize we were doing a boss fight all of a sudden. <laughs> Where'd the other one go? Could I have used the spaceship for this? That probably would have been a lot uh a lot quicker, a lot simpler. Oh my god, dude. That dude's way ahead of us. I think we might be fucked. Not gonna lie. Come on, give me a little boost. <laughs> I don't actually... There he is, we're catching up. We're catching up. No, we failed. He made it to the TV station. Crypto! What? The black sedan has reached the TV station. I mean, it hasn't actually. Oh, the dude did, but have gotten out of the hyperbaric chamber this morning. I mean, it's fine. We'll just do it again. Just roll back time. We got a time machine, right? Popping their new show hits airwaves. It's unanimous. Everybody loves the Bobby Blackshirt Variety Hour. That sounds like a hell of a show, man. Turn to them up. Oh wait, do we not get to redo that mission? No, we have to, right? When we select the hangar, we can select missions to do. I don't want this failure going on my permanent record, man. We gotta, we gotta retry. Let me do it again, damn it. Oh, not options. Hangar. Television to Doom, yeah, okay. We can just redo it. Excellent. This time, maybe we'll see if we can hop in our UFO. Assuming we don't go... I don't think we go too far from it, right? Because we just... We pop in, we instantly get the cutscene, and then... It's go time. We never actually do any running around. Of course, I guess this, the question is, will it let us? Hop in the spaceship. I mean, it's right here. Why? There's like people walking around it and they're just not... Oh, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess that's a no. We can't use that. Do we run faster than we walk? Or than we, than we fly? I think we do fly faster at first. But then like once we run out of juice, we definitely go slower. God, are we gonna fail this one? God damn it. God, they're so far ahead already because I tried to go in the ship. Oh good, they're coming back around. <laughs> Why are they coming back around? Why do they have like the world's worst worst pathing? Sir, I need you to come back, please. Can you, can you get out of your, your car for me? If you're in a car, I'm on foot. This doesn't seem fair. Oh, God. Shit, yeah. Is there just a retry? No, we can return to Mothership, though, and then load back in, I guess. 
So we were definitely going to fail that one again. They were so far away. We need to pick up some ammo because the only way to really take them down quickly is probably going to be that Destructotron or whatever the hell it's called. I think I think Destructotron is something from Ratchet and Clank. Uh, maybe? What was it called? Oh, Lord, my memory is terrible. We just unlocked that weapon, what, 20 minutes ago? <laughs> I've completely forgotten what it's called. 100%. It's nowhere. Memory banks have failed. Uh, there we go. There was no, there was no <laughs> sound there for a moment. For the, uh, for the, for the blaster thing, Destructotron, whatever the hell it's called. I don't know what it's called. Come on, get out of the car. Get out of the way. Oh. Why did it... Look. <laughs> Why did they get out of the car last time? The car didn't blow up, but they, they just ran away from it last time out of nowhere. This time it just blew up and murdered them. Why didn't that happen the first time? Apparently, a human scientist is waiting at the TV station for these orders. So can we, like... Edit the, the orders. Scan Sleepy Ernst. Okay. I don't know who that is, but sure, we can do that. So we should probably try to get away from all this uh, police presence nonsense. I'm just another cop. Don't mind me. Wait. Can the police... The police still know it's me, don't they? Uh, don't mind me, Mr. Officer, sir. I'm just one of you. I'm glad it still lets us start missions while we're, like, under fire from police officers. Otherwise, we'd be fucked. Uh, I think I see why the guy's called Sleepy Ernst. And scan, please. A human mind can be controlled by televised propaganda, and then I'll start my own cable news network. Ha ha! There's a heck of those majestic agents. America ain't gonna brainwash itself. We cannot allow the human race to be sleepy Ernstus's experimental guinea pigs. They should be our guinea pigs. Fair. I mean, couldn't we just let them be his guinea pigs to make sure it works, and then we just take control from there we better make sure his Drop work it. is destroyed destroy his car I mean what did his car ever do to us house excuse me sir I don't know what you think I did to you mr. officer sir but I don't appreciate being shot at man broadcast mind control signals to control their own people by transmitting signals from this station they hope to make the human population paranoid and aggressive. Well, more paranoid and aggressive. Mm -hmm. I'm shaking you my head right now. I know you can't see me, but I am. Very special episode. A mind control transmission from the mothership. Huh? A few minor adjustments to those rooftop antennae should make them furon ready. I'm sure you can handle that. Wait, where do I need to go? Over here, okay. I mean, I saw the purple thing, and I thought that's where we had to go, but then it was like, make adjustments to the antenna. I was like, oh, well, fuck, maybe not. But I guess we're not modifying the antenna on the broadcast station. We're doing it in the homes? All right, Crypto. Here's the plan. We're going to use this television thingy ourselves to subjugate humanity to the indomitable will of the Furon Empire! <laughs> if you can Honestly, that explains a lot. The direction of the mothership, <laughs> they'll be in the perfect position to receive my Furon mind control transmissions. That's the good news. The bad news is, for complex and highly technical reasons, you have only three minutes if you cannot align the antennae. Very oh, of bad course. things will happen. Let's not speak of it again. Now, I kind of want to know what these very is. bad things are. Respect 
How do we... How? I don't think he ever told us how to bend them. Do we have to land on them? Uh, game? Hold on. Goals. Use PK to bend them all. That makes sense. Use. Oh shit, it doesn't happen like with just one click. We have to actually stand here and do it? Uh, excuse me. I... Oh my god, that takes so long. Oh no, we might be screwed. I thought we'd have to like hit it or shoot it or something. No, we have to very slowly bend it with our minds. <laughs> God, I think we went to the farthest one away. We should have went the other way around. Please don't let me fail this mission twice. Come on. No strange occurrences here, don't mind me. Everything is perfectly fine. Nothing weird is happening at all, Mr. Uh, radio announcer police dude. What year are we actually here in anyways? I heard them say something about 1975, but that was like the distant future, according to that one dude that I thought wanted to watch porn, but actually wanted to invent a discotron, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, I also have the military on my ass, though, so... No, I wasn't talking to you, but I can talk to you. How are you doing today, Noodle? Has it been a pretty decent day for you so far? How's your night, now that you're home? You enjoying doing whatever it is you're doing? Just meh and meh? Wow. Okay. Why don't you uh, just relax for a little bit? I mean, the chores are important. Obviously, they do need to get done, but you don't have to do them all right now if you're having a bad time, dude. Okay, that ended up being a lot easier than I expected. Honestly, that three-minute time limit really scared the hell out of me at first, but uh, I think it was referring to a DVD player. I think it was referring to a VHS player, honestly, but I don't know. Because 1975, DVDs wouldn't have been thought of yet, right? God, are we going to blow these damn things up? Why don't we just let them all blow up and then we can collect their DNA, man? Seems like a way more efficient way of collecting DNA than me running around blowing their minds up. Where did you go? <laughs> oh my god, dude. I love how we're just running down the street. And then snack time. Gotta wash your new bottle too. Yeah, yeah. Gotta get that watery goodness. <laughs> Freak lightning strikes entire block, kills 10. Local electrician to answer in court for faulty ground wiring. Not the electrician. What did he do? All right. It's getting pretty close to time to wrap the stream up for the night, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna run around for just a minute and uh, blow some people up because why not? <laughs> just, I just want to create as much uh, havoc as I can before we before we go. It's like GTA, but like, you're supposed to blow shit up. <laughs> Just creating as much havoc as possible is part of the plan, and I love it. Done at 2 tonight? Yeah, I think I'm going to call it a little bit of an early night. I'm a bit tired myself, and then of course me and you are going out tomorrow, Noodle. So I think it's a, I think it's a decent day to call it a little bit early. Plus, I don't have anything else too exciting on the docket for tonight anyways. We could play, I don't know, something, but gamble 10,000. Gonna get food. Yes, food sounds wonderful too, honestly. Um, oh, you mean tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna eat tomorrow for sure. But I'm also hungry. <laughs> I I had some leftover cheesy potatoes. That's what I ate whenever I got home from work today. And don't get me wrong, they were fantastic, but they weren't particularly filling. And my stomach is is yelling at me. It's saying, eat some damn food, you dumbass. 
And I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I feel like I should oblige it, man. <laughs> Do what it says. I'm mind controlled by my tummy. <laughs> Tells me to eat food. I eat food. Oh, uh, can we play baseball? Wonder what baseball with psychic abilities would be like. Who wants to, who wants to bat for me? I'll throw the balls. No, nobody. Really? Rude, dude. Nobody wants to play baseball with me just because I'm a murderous alien? Can we blow up cars with the Zapomatic? Does that work? No, it doesn't seem like it. It definitely kills the hell out of the police officers, though. <laughs> it does a wonderful job at that. My god, that man pushed the whole car. Can I push the car? No. Ah, uh, excuse me, sir. Really? I can't... Oh, you know what? I was gonna say, it's kind of... Ooh, okay, it does blow up cars. It's just very hard to do so. Anyway, I was gonna say, it doesn't make any sense. Why can't I shock this damn dude? Just because he's in his car. But no, cars are usually made of metal. They're basically a giant... Faraday cage? It actually does make sense. I'm just stupid. That's all. How old are these pants? You mean the pants in the living room? They're... I don't know. How long ago did we buy them? No, they're they're the ones I was wearing today, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, I think, that's, I think that's all I got. Let's go ahead and return to the mothership. Make sure there's no cutscenes or anything. I hope you guys had fun, though. I certainly had fun. As tired as I am, I don't know if I was the most entertaining tonight, but... The game itself was pretty fun. Like, I, it seems like, I don't know if it's a good stream game, but it's definitely a good game to just sit back and have mindless stupid fun with. Just blowing shit up, running around, collecting things and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to leave it on the list of games to complete for stream. But don't be surprised if if I play more of it in my own time, because that's probably going to happen. Oh, speaking of, real quick, while it's on my mind, Excuse me, and before we go, uh, we're going to make some changes. I mentioned it before, but to the way games are picked, both for our regular PS2 streams as well as for the completion stuff, um, not this game, the next game that we're going to complete, because that poll is already up and running. If anyone needs the link, uh, just do exclamation mark poll, and uh, it'll give you directions on how to get to there. Um, but, so yeah, not on this one, because that poll's already up, but what I'm going to do is we're going to change to a weighted random system so i'll have all of the games that that i'm willing to complete in a random pool and people will be able to spend their channel points um possibly bits as well i, I don't know if i want to open that can of worms or not though but anyways bits for, or shit i can't speak um channel points for sure not the not the bot ones the actual twitch points you'll be able to use those points to add more weight to whatever option so like every game will start at one but then you could donate and have it go up to two and then three and etc 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 so that it has a better chance of being picked and we're going to do that i think for both the ps2 stuff and for the games that we complete um i just have to figure out if there's a convenient way to do that in a in a visually interesting style i can very easily modify my spreadsheet of games to work that way but it'd be nice if we had like a roulette wheel or something along those lines you know what i mean so yeah i uh, just want to go ahead and get that out there that that's a little change that we're going to be making soon at least for the the games to complete thing that'll be happening very soon the games that we're going to be playing every night i don't know i don't know maybe soon maybe soon we'll see but uh anyways guys thank you one last time so much for coming and hanging out with me a little bit tonight i do appreciate it thank you to everyone that resubbed especially um, and until next time, have a good night, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. And that's fine, Noodle. You can wash them. <laughs>Damn it wrong there. <laughs> it's all right, Rue. I'll forgive you this time. I mean, I screw up the English language constantly when I'm